intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello and welcome to a quick video where I want to share some things I have listed out or I'm getting ready to list out on eBay. I'm actually taking pictures of these right now so I can uh, get them listed out. Um, I do have this 1999 Broadstruck Lincoln set. Um, it is, it's not super huge, but it is um, Broadstruck enough that it does cause some stretching of the letters and stuff. But I do have this listed out there as a buy it now. Shipping is included in Buy It Now most of the time. Uh, $19.99, I listed it at $19.99. And if you would like, if you're interested in that, feel free to pick it up or make an offer. And then I do have some more West Points. These all I started at $0.99. Cents. This one is quite nice. Um, the camera does pick up a few of the surface imperfections that you can't see with your naked eye. Um, just because of how the light reflects and the camera picks it up. Um, there's a couple of minor scratches on the obverse. Uh, this one, I think, is still, the bid is at $0.99. Cents. These all have bids on them, and last I checked, they were all at $8 or less with bids. So I have some of those listed out, some more West Points. Um, as for these down here, I am listing these out. This is... 1972, this is DDO number three. I believe it's FS103 in the Cherry Picker's Guide as well. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll put that on the screen. I'm going to list that out there. Probably as a buy it now. Um, then I've decided to list this 1994 with the very cool die clash on it. I'm going to list this out here. Um, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do with it. I have a pretty nice 1968. It's got a little surface dirt on it, but it does have that, uh, if you look at the rim here, it does have that, um, I believe it's a partial Tilsa collar that you can see on both sides there. I have a 1969 uh, S. This one is pretty nice shape and would be nice in any album. Um, we'll probably start this at a dollar, plus the uh, shipping I uh, put on the auctions to cover, just to make sure I cover the fees. Um, this one does have some, uh, machine doubling, which is really neat to look at on, especially on the 69S. Um, and then I have this 1968 here, 1968. This one has a very, very small brief strike through here. Um, but overall it is red and in pretty good shape. And I figured I would list that out. I'll start it at a, at a dollar, but I am taking pictures of these to list. And oh, and I have this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to list it out there yet. It's 1943s. I'm going to. I'm trying to determine if it this is the this is a double die or if it is a die deterioration doubling. And I'll try to pop up a picture of what I'm seeing on it. I believe it's die deterioration doubling, but it's possible it could be a double die. Um. So that's there. I'm trying to figure it out that one right now. I'm doing some research on it and uh, reaching out. I might list some more stuff, so do go check that out if you're interested. And, and as always, there's the code down here. Uh, if you purchase anything from me, do drop a note in there. Say, hey, I'm from YouTube, and I'll throw a, make sure I throw a sticker in there for you as well. And uh, use that code, and you can get 5% off the purchase. Just, you know, it's an extra added thank you. Um, I believe you can use that coupon code at checkout. There's a spot to put it in there. I've never utilized a coupon code, so I can't tell you exactly where that is, but it's there for you. So yeah, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.